EC Global's Deluxe Condo and Villa Policy Package is designed to protect your investment from foundation to completion and beyond. A comprehensive policy with the widest scope of coverage available. At EC Global, we are acutely aware of the many risks involved when investing in real estate development. So we've created the EC Global Deluxe Condo and Villa Policy Package to protect, provide, and give you peace of mind to face today's unforeseen perils. With coverage spanning personal accident, bodily injury both on and off the premises, as well as legal liability and related risks, helping you focus directly on areas of greatest concern. Our Deluxe Condo and Villa Policy Package covers loss of money or property by fraud and dishonesty, landscaping and maintenance fees, even capital additions like underground pipes and pits, and requirements from local and governmental authorities. EC Global also knows that providing security means settling claims promptly, and we pride ourselves on having the empathy that calls to action when you need it most. At EC Global, our strength comes from our partnership with one of the most successful banks in the Caribbean, bringing you the comfort of knowing that our strength is on your side. Our strength is on your side. Hey, Foster, I'm Blazing FM 99.3, and I love local fruit. My favorite is pineapple. If you haven't yet heard about this next St. Lucian, this next report is sure to change that, and this may just be the beginning. I'm an author. I've written two books so far, um, published books. Death by Fire, a novel set in St. Lucia, mostly cast beside, and also a non-fiction. Uh, um, the struggle for survival, an historical, political, and socio-economic perspective of St. Lucia. Um, I also have a, a third book coming out soon, maybe later this year, called The Stallkeeper, a novel set in Beaufort using the American occupation of the town during World War II as a backdrop. At the time I was finishing my PhD degree, around 1989-1990, I had reached a situation where most books I read, either I've read, read the material before, or I could stretch my imagination and come up with similar analyses or conclusions. And reading was not as ex exciting as it used to be. To me so this made me, made me realize maybe i should be writing my own books so then the question was uh, how do i start to, to write so the first thing i did, the first major writing project i embarked on was a biographical novel a novel just tracing my life but then um, if you're writing about your life it is not really proof that you can come up with a novel uh, that is fictional meaning to start from scratch. So, th so then my task was to write a novel not based on my life and as, as an, an indication of proof that I can come up, that I can write a novel for real. So in writing, in, in, in embarking on that project, um, well, most, mostly everything I write about are experiences that left a lasting impression upon me, especially childhood experiences.